Hello, this is Jumbo Commander, and I have a card spotlight from Hour of Devastation. Let's look at a new card and find out how it fits into the Commander format. Today's review is Hope Tender. One and a green for a 2-2 human druid that says, one tap to untap target land. One tap exert Hope Tender, untap two target lands. Well, we can immediately see the advantage of untapping lands, especially if we have great ones like Lotus Veil or Scorched Ruins, or even just a Simic Growth Chamber, allowing you to gain a lot of mana. But wait a second, you say, Hope Tender requires mana to activate that ability. You're not really generating very much mana off of a Simic Growth Chamber or a Temple of the False God, but you can generate lots of mana if you have really powerful lands like Gaia's Cradle or Sarah's Sanctum or if you start stacking enchantments like Overgrowth or other abilities that will give you lots and lots of mana from a single land. And Hope Tender is not the only creature that does this. Our Gothian Elder, Crocin Restorer, Magus of the Candelabra, or an actual candelabra if you have that, <laughs> or a Deserted Temple. So if you're running a lot of these other untapping land creatures, Hope Tender can slot right in. Now, I think one of the main reasons to run a land untapper is to take advantage of some of the great synergies and combos that come with untapping lands. Let's imagine we have a Hope Tender on the board, and let's go for a simple combo, a Maze of Ith and a Simic Growth Chamber. Well, you move to combat and attack with your Hope Tender. Then, before blocks or anything like that, you use your own Maze of Ith to untap your own Hope Tender. You also float some mana with Simic Growth Chamber. So now you have an attacking untapped Hope Tender, a tapped Maze of Ith, and a tapped Simic Growth Chamber, and two mana. Now you spend one of those mana and exert your Hope Tender, tapping him. That will untap your Maze of Ith and Simic Growth Chamber. And you can repeat this over and over again, producing infinite mana. There is a problem with this infinite mana. It is trapped in your combat phase. So you have to use it instantly. You can't use it on any sorceries uh, because you're not in your main phase. That's just the Maze of Ith combo. Some of you might be familiar with this combo because we have our Gothian Elder that works really well. You don't even need a mana that taps for two like the Simic Growth Chamber. Now, why do we want this combo or these creatures in this deck? Where do they fit in? Well, they fit in a lot of decks that tap and untap things, and those can be really fun. Uh, for example, I personally have a deck that runs Jeskai Ascendancy as sort of a theme of the deck. And as you could imagine, Jeskai Ascendancy that can untap a creature then that can untap more lands, that could be really powerful. Uh, in that deck, I run Bruce Tarl and Kaidel Chosen of Crufix. And so I like all of this tap untap shenanigans in that deck. But really, if you have lands that produce a lot of mana, really valuable lands like Gaia's Cradle, then you might want to take a closer look at any of these untapped target land creatures. This has been a Commander Spotlight on Hope Tender from Hour of Devastation. The set is fast approaching release, and I'm excited to look at more and more cards. My name is Jumbo Commander, and I'm really excited to see you guys soon.